What up you guys? Well, welcome back to another non-K-pop fans reacts videos. It's your boy Gumby. I'm sorry, say that one more time. I said we're here at the non, non-K-pop fans. Like N-O-N in English well, means I'm no. I'm sorry, one more time for the people. Alright, I'll say it in Spanish. No. no. Non. Non. Oh, non. Alright, so non-K-pop fans react. We're not fans of K-pop. At all. And, um, Jesus Christ. We're reacting to the um, non-fanatical nature of this K-pop music. Uh, today we're doing EXO. We're doing EXO's Monster. Uh, we've seen the performance video, but not the actual music video. And um, there's some smoke in the comments, so apparently we have to dissipate the fire. Uh, you know, 2020. Yeah. But before we get into it, I gotta introduce my peoples. To my far right, I got the homie, the brother from another mother, J Friday. Y'all still ain't tell me where your mama at, cause them cookies you made ain't for you. But carry on, bro, go ahead. And to my immediate right, we have the Bay all day, the lovely Miss Rache. Y'all cute. Shout out to NC Gastonia, you know what Y'all cute, what I mean. And then you know me, Gumby. We're here on the YouTube channel, Jello Quake, J-E-L-L-O-W Quake. Like, subscribe, share, follow, all that good stuff. So we'll, before we get into this, we have um, some notes from Miss Jelly herself. And I'm new to EXO. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is your first time watching EXO. First time. So let me squash something right now. Um, Jello Quake is not Malik. They keep thinking they're talking to you. Because you talk the most in the videos. Hit me up on my Instagram. Hit me up on my Instagram. It's down there. It's not going to be down there. It's going to be down in the description, which y'all don't like to read. So, but y'all going to open yeah, it like up. Down the Instagram. Instagram. Not on the video, but down there. Instagram. Like, scroll down and click see more. You'll I'm with don't it. Don't we say our names every time? Every time. Right. All the time. With, I'm with it. And they and y'all introduce me individually, but they always think that Jello Quake is you. Why? I, I have no idea. She's the boss. This is her channel. I understand that, cause if you send something, uh, if you send something and put it in the comments, she's you're gonna she's gonna see like you're taking talking to her, but you're talking to her, but you're talking you think you're talking to him. Yeah, got that out. But get your stuff straight, man. If y'all really got a problem, y'all see our stuff, y'all see our Instagrams, y'all see our Twitters or whatever. Follow us and complain. Wait, y'all complain to me because I don't care. Waste your time. Okay, so in the in the comments, the helpful the, in the comments, the helpful ones anyway, mm -hmm. um, they let us know that EXO is more of a vocal group, mm -hmm. and so watching the performance video, it's just like, eh, you know, because as you said in the video, like their vocals were really good, yeah, and they're known for their vocals Makes and harmony, sense. so they were like, watch the actual music video and don't fo <laughs> they're like don't focus on the dancing, because right. if you try to compare that. To the, it, you're gonna lose every time. Just don't worry about it. Okay. And there was also I wish I could find a comment, but they were really, really, really helpful in informing me that there was recent beef between um, Army and XOL, which are the fandom name for those that like EXO. Mm -hmm. So it was just really bad timing on when I released it because they're currently in defense mode because EXO's being attacked right now by, by, I can't remember what the comment was, but right now the whole fandom's in defense mode. Okay. So. Perfect timing. So yeah, great timing to put that video out of YouTube roasting the hell out of EXO for 14 minutes straight. Yeah. Yeah, and they not also not mad. Not, I will apologize, but I'm not no. Don't be sorry. No. Be careful. And they also yeah, and, and the person also let me know, or it was another person that let me know, which of course I already knew from our we already knew from our experience with Army mm -hmm. is that um, fans, particularly K-pop fans, are extremely sensitive. For sure. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I'm not saying that they're all young, but the typical MO of a K-pop fan is someone who's younger. Teenagers. So, teenagers, so they're not going to be mm -hmm. as emotionally there. They're going to be very passionately connected mm -hmm. to these things. Okay. Um, but we grown, so. All right, I pay taxes. <coughs> And I gotta fill my taxes now. But, um. I'm to find a comment. But, so I'm not saying that that's 
all the entire fandom because that's obviously mm -hmm. you know we're we got a couple of toes in the door and a couple of toes in the water okay. and as we said we're adults <laughs> so but you know but I spent the whole weekend fighting <laughs> And arguing and just, you know, being like, okay, I understand you're upset. Let's get to know EXO more as individual, individually as EXO. Okay. So, and since this is going to be your first experience completely with EXO, okay. you will go in with a completely clear, unbiased mind. Right. And this is a musical, vocally bass group. Correct. Got it. Alright, here we go. Monster. Again. Monster. Watch it. Is that a fucking whip ring? Yeah. Chain or whatever? If you notice when the, in the X that they're making, like I, I again, I'm not a dancer, so I don't know nothing. But I, I kind of want to tip my hat to the blonde one because he has to move in both lines. He had to move in both lines. I'll run it back. Yeah. yeah. yeah and then, and then, so the left. He had a transition. Yeah, the one yeah. in the middle. He had to run in. Like he had to move in both lines and be in sync with both of them. So. Okay. <laughs> That was a good transition. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's like, walk forward, stop, turn, boom. And he does a lot. It's clean, Tim. Yup. Yeah. I hope they stick to that. Like, that clean, really simple 5 6, not even a 7 8, just 5 6 choreo. Because it, it looks good. Yeah. It's simple, and, but it looks great. They could do, I was gonna say, they could do really good at just doing like concepts. Um, and like, like, yeah, it seems like they're like using their group as a, as a whole to make different concepts and pictures it really works for them as far as choreography goes. I'm definitely getting super, super, super smooth boy band for these guys. I'm feeling it. So many of them do it, all I have to do is like be clean and that's it. Thank you for this video, like mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't say nothing, I didn't say nothing. Alright, they have their rap presence to show. Have 
longevity for, for sure. And I see that from this group. I see as long as they continue to keep to a certain formula, they could have long longevity. I don't know why I can hear like Usher in the background, like the his tone of voice. Like in it. Oh. This can definitely be like an Usher yeah. type. Definitely yeah. Usher. <laughs> Inspiration. Uh, that ending? Yes, <laughs> that sounds like Usher. Right. That was Usher as hell. Yeah, uh, I like uh, it. I nice. like it a lot. Very so, nice. as of course non K pop fans, mm -hmm. you know, K pop is generally a blanket statement. Mm -hmm. Because, as you know, from what we've, other bands we listened to, BTS and Blackpink, they don't sound the same. For sure. Mm -hmm. So, K pop is just Korean pop, right. you know? But there are different uh, sub genres in there. Mm -hmm. So the viewers let me know that EXO is more R&B based, For sure. whereas yeah. you know BTS is more hip hop based. And then the Black Pink videos that you two saw, they're like ah, they just, they just kind of seem like really poppy. But it's a yeah. lot of like techno in it. Yeah, pop and techno. Like yeah, sure. like that. So. That's what makes EXO, you know, uniquely their own from what we've experienced previously. Okay. So they also let me know that they debuted in 2012. So that was before, you know, not to compare them, but before BTS. Mm -hmm. So they've been around for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this seems solid in, what they, in their movement in this video. How old are they? They seem a little older. Yeah, they seem older. I, I'm i not sure. I know... You guys let us They're know. gonna be at least, some of them at least, almost 30. Because three of them are gone into the military service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the cutoff age. How 30. 30, okay. You have to enlist by 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at least three of them are older. Okay. You could get you got that. I got that vibe that they were older yeah. than what I previously watched from mm -hmm. BTS. Yeah. 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 And of course, congratulations to Ooh. 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 congratulations to Chen for his recent engagement. Uh, oh, yeah. And he's got a baby on the way. Got to be a daddy. Ooh. Ooh. It's a whole different journey, player. Yeah. Ooh, a whole different journey. Yeah. Congrats, though. Alright, and we're out. Yeah, so let us know um, how you guys feel about uh, our reactions to uh, the new, uh, our new group that we were covering, EXO, amongst others like Blackpink and BTS. Uh, again, we're non-K-pop fans, but we're here for the reactions. Peace. Peace.